Hello. I thought I would make a short video to show you how to use flex pitch in logic. Um, knowing how to, I'm moving myself around, <laughs> knowing how to tune your vocals is really empowering and it's really easy. So I am going to show you with this very simple video how to tune your vocals. Okay, so what I did here is I just recorded a really like plain chord. And so then I went and sang to it and I tried to sing a little bit pitchy. La, 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 la. <laughs> Not a little pitchy, a lot pitchy, right? So um, if I wanted to use that recording, I could go in and tune it. Okay, so so um, if you're really new to Logic, um, I know it's confusing because people move really fast in these videos, so I'm going to try to slow down. Um, like right now, I clicked onto the classic electric piano track, right? And that's the one that's highlighted. So um, that's what we're seeing down here. We're seeing the two notes that I played in that classic piano track. And if I mute the other track, you see these buttons? M is for mute. On my vocal, I'm gonna mute that. And if I press return, it'll go back to the start and it plays just those two notes, okay? So now this is not what we want to be editing. We are trying to edit the vocal, right? So I'm going to highlight this track instead. And right now it's gray down here, right? But you do see the vocal wave here. This is the vocal wave. So I'm gonna unmute it. I'm gonna press M again. Okay, so that everything turns blue. I'm gonna press return again. It's gonna go back to the start. And now you're gonna see the bar moving across as it plays this la, 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 la. <laughs> Sounds pretty terrible, right? So here is how we figure out how to do this. So the... <clears throat> The only thing that's like slightly tricky about flex pitch is that it really helps if you know what key you played your song in. So if you're not a musician, you could still do it. You know, um, it's just good to know. Like it's usually the first chord of the song. It's often, very often, the first chord of the song is the key that you're in a lot of times. It's not all the time though. So, you know, if you're kind of doing this to learn and play around, go with that first chord. If this is like a serious project you're trying to work on, maybe ask a musician friend for their help to know what key your song is in. But this song is in C. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the vocal file. I am going to press this button, you see this right here? It says, if I hover, then those little words that sh that come up say show slash hide flex, right? So I want to show flex, I pressed it. It's asking me, do you want to turn on flex for track audio? And yes, I do, right? So I'm gonna press that, okay. So now flex has a few different things that you can choose in it. There's flex, time, rhythmic, there's all these flex time options. But what we want for tuning is this, flex pitch. So I'm gonna press flex pitch. Okay, and now it's a little confusing because like, you know, you're gonna say, hey, I don't see anything different down there. I just still see this the wave. If you move 
your cursor, you move your fingers on the mouse or you move your cursor up and down, you will eventually find your notes. So you see that? It took my vocal and it broke it apart into different notes. It analyzed the notes. So that is what's gonna allow us to fine tune this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play again. La, 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 la. Okay, so you can see the notes here. You can actually visually see to some extent which ones are more out of pitch because when it's perfectly in pitch, the the rectangle indicating the note is going to be of a certain height when when it clicks into place because it's going to be a certain size you see that you see how there's a grid here with alternating horizontal lines there's like a gray line then a, a darker black line then a gray line so when it fills that whole space that means it's perfectly clicked into place so the trick here is to go down here to scale quantize and you're gonna press that arrow. Now, this is where you need to know your key, okay? So I know that I played a, like a C chord for that one chord that I played. So I'm pressing C. So now it shows C down here. So now when it clicks the notes, when it brings the notes into the right spots, it's going to use the, the key of C. It's going to use the C scale. So it's going to be, you know, C, C natural, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? There's not going to be any accidentals in this scale. So now, right now, none of these notes are um, highlighted. As you see, if I click on any one of them, I could move things around. I could actually change the entire note, right? So watch like this. If I press it, I'm, I'm hearing that one note. I could move this now. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And it's moving it to the next um, note in the C scale. It's skipping this note. It's skipping the D sharp, right? Or the E flat to go straight to the E. So that's why it kind of like, you saw it kind of jump. If we play that now. La, 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 la. Of course, that's not what we want, but I just wanted to show you that we you can actually move a note one by one. But if your goal is to just take your entire phrase and get it in the right key all at once, which really works best when the notes are not too far off. If the notes are like far away from like the melody that you wanted and the key, then it's gonna sound really electronic and robotic when you tune it. But if it's pretty close, then you're really not going to notice anything, but it's just going to bring it right into tune. So to do all of this at once, the easiest way is to click anywhere in here. So I, I have my mouse here. Now I'm clicking. I'm, I'm sorry, I have my pointer here. Now I'm just clicking the mouse. And now I'm going to press Command A. That's the shortcut. Okay. So now there's this area right here, Pitch Correction. So I'm just gonna go over here and you can correct it as much as you want. And did you see how the notes clicked right into place? Now watch, we'll do that again. If I bring it down, you can see that they shifted slightly and the outlines of where the perfect note should sit is there, but you can see like this one is slightly below, it's flat, right? This one is below, it's flat. This one is slightly above this line on the bottom, it's a little sharp. But as I move it across to 100% pitch correction, it goes right into place. So now let's listen. La, 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 la. 
So now that brought that vocal performance right into tune in the key of C. And that's how you use flex pitch to tune your vocals. Um, there's a whole lot more you can do here. And that might be for another little mini lesson, I think. Um, but I hope that was helpful. If that was helpful for you, please leave a comment. Please subscribe. If you want any other lesson on any specific topic, please tell me. I'd be happy to share whatever I know because um, producing is fun, right? And let's get more women producers learning and getting better at it and um, creating our music. And who knows where it'll take us, right? So take care. See you next time.